welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Reverie Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Welcome, friends, to the opening hole at Ocean of Memories. Par four, 445 yards, and just a wonderful, gorgeous, poetic scene. Second shot is glorious, absolutely glorious. The green sitting up top of a little perch, the bunker sitting there, brown. I just want to stare and watch it and look at it. Soak it in. Let's get down to the action. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Wow, what a shot. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. They've made it off to a great start today. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. He's in a share of fifth position. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first, great job. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot on the second. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Nice stroke. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Currently a couple under for the event. Teeing off here at the third hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That sounded absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot into the third. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, that's beautifully judged. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Here we have Cam Champ from just a little while ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. He's currently tied for first. If 
find ourselves on a par three here. And choosing the eight iron here. That's a good looking shot there. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down on the fifth hole. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Yeah, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. This one's online. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Absolutely tattooed that one. Coming off a string of four birdies. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This is beautiful to watch. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. And after that hole, we currently lead Patrick Cantlay by a shot. We have a par four on this one. Oh, absolutely flushed. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Taking aim from around 100 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. That's a golf shot. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. Second shot here on the sixth. like they're going with the pitching wedge this one looks like it'll safely make the green a nice approach shot there pin high inside the range Luke nothing gets past you yes this kid is a stud and he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field what a putt to hold and that will take him to six under our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. for the second shot here at the seventh. Opting for the nine iron. This one is chewing fiber. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? 
Well, I'm on the eighth hole, and we are watching Ian Poulter at the moment. Wow. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Opting for the five iron. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Luke, this player coming off a of birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. a bit out of shape moments ago a beautiful shot happened on the course let's take a look at it fine effort from our man currently chasing the leader wow that almost dropped for thomas good roll and back to the course with the live action yeah this lies pretty deep here Opting for the four iron here. This would be a great up and down. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. Leading by three strokes now. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. drive that one should find the fairway playing this shot from about 180 yards going with the five iron here this one needs to kick left Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. This one looking really good. Well played. What an eagle. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. He's currently sitting in first place. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Coming off an eagle at the last, momentum on their side for this player. Oh, 
Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Never mind. Go and tap it in. And that puddle drop. Well done. And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. Lining up for his third now. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swing. This shot from around 210 yards. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. A yeah, quality shot, that. 19 feet to the cup. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Ooh. Ooh this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. We have a par five on this one. What a gargantuan tee shot. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And now we go to the 14th, where this happened a moment ago. Always enjoy watching Ian pull to play well. Here's a great shot. Good, smooth stroke. He's been dialed in all day on the greens, and there's yet another example. Now, this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. And that putt will end up short. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Looks like about 21 feet for him uh, left to go. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And it's just about three feet away. The only good thing about three putting for par is you don't drop a shot. Currently 10 under for the round. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. That dog will hunt. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. This player is half man and half amazing. Well, my goodness. You're going to hold one, maybe two of those an entire year. What a shot. around 180 yards out.
looks to be going with the five iron. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, so close. Seven feet to the cup. This one's looking good. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Leading by five shots after that. Taking off now on a short par four. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Out a boy, good shot. This one's for birdie. Dee's making this look easy, keeps surging ahead. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honour on the hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. John, what's going on out there? Well, you found me on the 17th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Time for the second shot at the 16th. That got caught up in a few of the branches. Well, oh, that's heading into the trees. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Getting ready to play their third. Tidy looking shot that. This one here, this is for back to back birdies, moving him in the right direction. 16 feet to the cup. Tracking. Good putt that. And I like it. Two in a row. Currently in first position. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Opting for the hybrid, I think. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. This putt is about eight feet. It was on a good line. Putting for par. 
and will hold. Let's move on. Still in the lead now after that hole. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18. Big of beauty. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And with that, this round comes to a close. Well, that's a lovely way to finish the opening round. Out in front, of the leader. Sounds great. Lots of good playing out there. One round to go. This could be a very nervy final round. Lots of players. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the River Reopen. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam, and it's the final round here, Rich. What's our next player up against as they begin it? Never easy going to bed with the lead, and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Nicely done. From about 130 yards here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Should find the green here. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Ooh, right by the hole. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. Time to tee off at the second. That one's heading down Broadway. What a year with five victories already this season.
This one looks to be slightly offline here. And our man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? They are very deep into this rough here, guys. I can't even see the ball from where I'm standing. Look out. Playing their fourth shot. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for bogey. Well, that's a little untimely. Their first bogey of the tournament. Never a good time to make their first bogey, but still with a healthy lead, they shouldn't be too bothered by it. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Hmm. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Well, it might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Close to the surface here in the green side rough. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. Just six feet between here and the hole. Not a bad line, this. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? And now that finds him in first place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Going with the eight iron here. This is all over it like a tropical disease. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Birdie at the last. This for another. Well, that's an early statement right there. That is definitely a confidence builder. Well, Rich, I'm not sure if this is a highlight. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the seven. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Ouch, that hurts. 
And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Around 110 yards to go. That should find the surface. Wow, what a shot. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And that will drop in for birdie. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Wow, that was just striped. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This looks to be heading to the green. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the seventh. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And that's their fourth Birdie of the day. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Looks to be going with the four iron. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. You've arrived at a par four. Lovely effort, that. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. Let's return to live play now. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Butting for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. 
Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Uh, absolutely, you dream of being in this position, ahead uh, by a bunch with just a few holes to go. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. John, you're down there. What's happening? I'm down here on the 14th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. Playing from around 160 yards. to have chosen the seven iron oh what a gorgeous looking shot that is rich not a bad approach that one not quite inside the booty range but you never know hold a long one still counts would oh, be nice to make this putt this is for eagle their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch be nice to see this one go down let's see if they make it Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. He sits in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Going with the eight iron here. Pretty good shot there. Okay, let's get back to the action. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. This one's dialed in. Well, what a performance, eight birdies on the card. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. We have a par four on this one. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Going with a three wood here. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That was wonderfully done. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Just didn't drop. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. You've arrived at a par five. Oh, 
Well, well played. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Mm, putting for a birdie. A birdie with big wings. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Terrific shot. Almost an eagle. Uh, it certainly makes putting easier, doesn't it? Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. That should find the fairway. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from earlier today. This is very well done from long range. Well, that was an absolute beauty, Rich. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot at the 14th. Going with the four iron here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. That will drive you bats. This one started out on a good line. That's well hold. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. We have a short par four ahead of us here. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? <laughs> Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. And this effort by Justin Thomas. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, he's, he's got about 28 feet to the cup from here. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Let's return to live play now. There's part of about six feet coming up. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Still in the lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff.
Well, Rich, here's one of our proven performers in the FedEx Cup points race. They've been there or thereabouts for most of the season, and they go into this tournament as one of the strong favourites. It hardly seems a surprise, doesn't it? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favourites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Getting ready to play their third. Just missed the hole. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. This hole is a par three. Going with the hybrid. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Not taking enough club to get it there. Yeah, that one will play. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Looking better. Solid par putt, that. Let's head to the last hole for this wonderful highlight. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. I gotta say, he is not afraid to go beautiful. Nicely hold. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Beautiful swing there. This one from about 160 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the seven. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Yep, may have been a little off with that one. You think? Just a touch. The hole out from off this green here. You'll win the tournament. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Oh, super effort that. Holds the putt to win it all. Luke, the victories, winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. Gotta give props to my boy in the booth, Rich Beam. I think you picked this one at the start of the week, didn't you? Luke, it's just, it wasn't a difficult pick. Let's be honest, this player has been consistent all season long. Getting the victory, no surprise whatsoever. Really good stuff. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elby, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.